Hello and welcome to this episode of FPV Inside Look. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Beagle Drone Neo 2 Micro Drone. If you're unfamiliar with Beagle Drones, they started back in 2017 with the goal of making FPV a little more simple for beginners to get into. They're trying to eliminate a lot of the tuning, the beta fly, and the soldering when it comes to the big 5 inch drones, and they also have some introductory drones. The one we have today is called the Neo 2, and it's the second rendition of their Neo Drone, launched back in, I believe, 2018. This is a full kit, and you can get the kit with goggles also. The kit comes with the drone, controller, some spare props, batteries, battery charger, USB for the battery charger, the goggles, and a USB charger for the goggles as well. Let's break down what the kit has in all the specs, then we'll do some flying and see how it performs. The Beagle Drone Neo 2 kit comes with six batteries, and these batteries are custom made for the Neo 2. They slide right into the bottom, and they plug into the board with the plug right there. These batteries work pretty well, and you can get around four to five minutes flight, uh, depending on your elevation and how aggressive you fly. There is a slight issue with some of these batteries being plugged directly into the board. Most spare batteries you find are a stick battery. And if you were to plug this into the bottom, it would just hang on the bottom and kind of get in your way. So if you are looking for spare batteries and you can't get the Beagles for some reason, you should get a battery with some sort of power cord on it so it can then plug in and be out of the way. The kit also comes with a USB charger and you can plug all six batteries into this charger at once and it should charge them in about 30 minutes or less off of the simple USB cord. The kit also comes with a set of goggles. Now these goggles have two dipole antennas on top and four buttons. Press and hold the bottom button, which is the power button to turn it on or off. There's a search button so you can scan around and find the frequency to lock on by itself. Or if you know the band and channel, you can simply press the band and the channel button to find that channel manually. These goggles work pretty well. You may want to upgrade in the future if you really get into the hobby, but as a starter kit they work. They are not really designed for a larger frame, uh, such as larger adults. Um, I think it's best for smaller people, women, teenagers are good, or if you're just a smaller individual, the goggles will work fine. But for a large person like myself, uh, they're a little snug. The drone itself handles really well. It has 17,000 kV motors, and they perform pretty good for beginner pilots. It'll allow you to get up, fly around, around your house, or outdoors. If you fly this drone outdoors, there has to be pretty much zero wind because these don't weigh very much, and any breeze, a ceiling fan going on, or somebody walking by and blowing on it can move these around. So if you fly it outdoors, just be aware of wind. The controller, again, is a little small for adults or a larger frame. I believe for kids, teenagers, smaller individuals, the controller should work just fine for you. However, I find myself holding on to the whole thing and not having the proper leverage for the controls. There are trim buttons on here in case your drone is drifting one direction or the next. And there's a couple other buttons on top. Now the button on the right side of the controller is a stunt button. If you press the stunt button, it will beep, and then your very next input on the right joystick will initiate the trick. If you roll right, it will do a barrel roll to the right. If you pitch forward, it will do a front flip. And the other button on the left side is a boost mode. When you press and hold the boost mode button as you're flying, it will allow the drone to have a more aggressive pitch, which will create more forward thrust, and it gives a little extra power to the motors as well. Once you get used to controls and flying, and if you're having a lot of fun with this Neo 2 drone, I would recommend actually upgrading the motors. You will decrease your flight time from 5 minutes to maybe 3 or 4, 
And the motors do get a little hot, so I would recommend uh, giving it a minute to cool in between packs. But once I upgraded the motors, this drone really handled a lot better and could zip around uh, the little ladder gates I made up. And I was able to have some fun doing a little freestyle with it as well. The 17,000 stock motors work great for beginners and are not very aggressive. But I believe once you get used to the controls, if you're not sure how deep into this hobby you want to go, Upgrading the motors will give you the next level in speed and agility. The drone will perform a little better with uh, more powerful motors because the power is there to deliver right away, as opposed to the motor struggling to handle some of those sharper turns as you get better. Now the drone and the controller frequency is their own thing. It's not FlySky or FR Sky or Spectrum or any of that. It's its own frequency. So you won't be able to bind this controller to another drone and you won't get another controller to bind to the Neo 2. However, the goggles are just picking up any of the 40 channel frequencies and you should be able to see any other pilot out there that's flying around or if you get a different drone, these goggles will still work with that other one. Now I've been flying drones for a while, so I actually put the Neo 2 in the hands of some teenagers to get their reactions and what they thought about the Neo 2. The new tune, it's fun to fly, it has a lot of power, the camera quality is good, the, he the goggles, they're nice, they're not like good like a big steel, but they're still nice goggles. Um, the headgear, it's, the headgear's great, it's nice, um, the controller's a little bit small, and um, the motors, once you start falling down, there's no way to kind of bring it back up, so. Now the Neo 2 is also pretty durable. It has a great canopy over the camera which keeps it really protected. It has a nice antenna that's very soft so if you crash it just bends over. And the frame seems durable and able to take some impacts. Obviously I was crashing it around a little bit and nothing broke, not even any of the struts holding on to the ducts. Any 6mm motors should drop in there however if you go above 19,000 kV motors like to 21 or uh, I think 25 is some of the plumb motors. I believe you're gonna be drawing a lot of current. Your batteries are only gonna last two minutes and they're gonna get really hot. So I wouldn't go above the 19,000 kV motors. If you're thinking you want more power, it may be time to upgrade. But the Neo 2 is a great starter kit. It comes in around 129 for the drone batteries and controller and $40 more will get you the goggles with it. That makes it one of the least expensive starter kits on the market right now. If you're looking to pick one up, I'm giving one away. And all you have to do is subscribe to Your Average Hobbyist and leave a comment down below. I'll be doing the drawing the second week in December. Hopefully I can get it under your Christmas tree for the holidays. Until next time, thanks for watching and keep ripping packs.